Hello and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a really cool color change I come up with, uh, so stick around and enjoy. Cool, I hope you enjoyed that intro. Today we are talking about color changes. Color changes are one of the first kind of sleight of hand moves that you would learn uh, getting into card magic. And every magician will have a repertoire of color changes in their arsenal that they will do whenever. And one of the most visual color changes I've seen in Magic is using a f card. And for the rest of this video, I don't want to expose anything or anything that like that, so when I say card, I'm just going to bleep that out so there's no exposure here. And if you don't know what a f card is, it's a certain type of um, gimmick that magicians will use. And cards was first properly explained in Professor R. Cunard's Book of Card Tricks, which would, was published in 1922. I did some research and it seems like it may date back to even earlier than that, to 1889, when Professor Hoffman wrote his book, Tricks with Cards. And so I flipped my first card and I was instantly hooked and I, I started thinking about this principle more and more and I was just wondering, like, what are the possibilities with this? I mean, there must be other things, like, that we can f I went around the house trying to find objects, which I could do it to. Tissue box. I f tea towel. I had a go at f***ing the, um, the vacuum cleaner, but it didn't quite work. And so after experimenting with f***ing for a while, I decided it was just better to keep it to cards. Now I will take you through a quick kind of just a montage of uh, me making a f***ing card. Again, I don't want to expose anything, so I'm just going to blur out the kind of bits that might uh, be seen as like exposure of magic and the techniques, but if you've made any card gimmicks in the past, uh, this should all make kind of perfect sense to you. And so, as you can see, it's a pretty straightforward process. I mean, this is my card, and came out looking uh, pretty nice, works pretty well. And if you do want your very own card, then please like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, I will pick somebody out and send you your very own card, so that you can go and yourself. But, as I did say, I did come up with something. And so, I remember when I first got into Magic, there was a color change I saw, and really... The color change makes no sense at all, unless you're a magician. The basic change is you've got the deck of cards on a table, you take a coin, you put the coin on top, you cover it up, and then when you take your hands away, the card has changed. Now really, this is only a change which makes any sense if you're a magician. Because if you do a color change for a normal person, really it doesn't matter if there's a coin on the card or not. 
But I didn't care. I love this color change. I think it's super visual, and even if it is just kind of a stupid trick for magicians, it's still quite a cool change, and I think the coin kind of adds a bit of a puzzle element to it. So I decided to see if I could kind of put that change on steroids a bit. And this is what I came up with. And so I got the idea and I was trying it out and I was like, oh my god, this is really cool, this is something different. So I called up a friend of mine, I showed it to him, and it fooled him, he didn't know how it was done. And then I did the classic thing that you do when you come up with a new trick, I scoured the internet trying to find somebody else who had come up with it before me. And that's the thing, I, I, just, I just couldn't seem to find anyone who had come up with this, and I was amazed, I was like, oh my god, I've come up with something really cool here, I've, I've got something original. And I went to bed that night, uh, really excited, but then I woke up in the morning uh, to see I'd been sent a link that showed me this. And then he did this. Thanks again for watching guys, uh, please remember to like and subscribe, otherwise I'm gonna have to start doing prank videos.